Hello YouTube, my name is Nero and welcome back to Pandora, welcome back to New Haven, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a long time since we had a video up here on Nero's Let's Plays, and for that I apologize, and shut up Claptrap, the reason why, if you've been paying attention to Nero Cinema, my other YouTube channel, lots of videos have been going up the past couple days, so we haven't been able to get a Borderlands episode the past couple days, just because so many were going up on Nero Cinema that I really didn't have time, and here, we have some meat puppets to pound, apparently. Come here, are you stuck on the wall? <laughs> I am. Oh, his shield made him live. Oh, I got reload. No fair. No fair. <laughs> bam and bam. I love this gun too much, man. This gun just makes it. It makes you feel like you're a good player. You know, it's one of those guns where you're like, wow, I am so good at this game just because I have this one particular weapon. But right now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go meet Tannis. If you played Borderlands 2, maybe you haven't played Borderlands 1. This is where we initially meet Patricia Tannis. I am the best robot. I think I already talked to him in the last at the end of the last episode, so I think I can just go right through. I don't have to wait for him to do his little dance. But yes, the Rust Commons. It's um, it, as I recall it, uh, a lot of it is dumpy. I, I I don't remember too much about the Rust Commons, so forgive me if I get lost when we're here. Apparently, there's a catch a ride right there. But I just want to check just to make sure. There's nothing cool in here that I might want. Oh, this is for the hunter. Oh, plus five team health regeneration. Oh, wow. Plus 27% team reload speed. Wow. Maybe I should have been the hunter. <laughs> I'm going to switch out from the rockets to the machine gun. I think I'd like that a little bit better. Now, where am I heading exactly? All right, so I should stay left, it would appear. Huh. If I were... Okay, well I can't- Oh, I, I can go up this hill that I can jump down. I remember doing this a bunch. Alright, I think I know where I'm going. Good God. Shut up, Claptrap. Is that, is that not the fourth time he said something? Oh, 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 oh no. Oh, oh, I'm good? Alright. I think it's the fourth time he said something this episode. Alright, there's a bunch of spider ants here. I hope I'm going the right way. I think I just followed the wall. No, I go across that bridge. I think I go across this bridge. I could be wrong. I don't have time to check the map. There's things here we want to shoot at me. Okay, now I have time to check. Uh, yeah, I'm going the right way. Sick. I am freaking amazing at navigation. If you guys didn't know. Where is that going to take us? Rust Commons East. So am I like in the western one? I'm going to check these vending machines right quick. That's a scavenger class mod. Plus three team scavenge extra items, huh? Huh. That's gonna get... Eh, my class mod's way better. And... Can I increase this yet? Let's see. What would I like to increase? I guess the revolver would be nice if I could do that, but I can't do that yet. Can I do SMG? I can increase my SMG. Alright, so now I have 900 rounds in my SMGs. That's kind of neat. Even though I don't think I'm actually using an SMG right now. Uh, am I? Shotgun. Nope, I'm not using SMG right now, but I bet you I will be in the future. So, we're going to end up wanting to get that pretty soon anyway. But yeah, but, oh man, look at this right there. You look at that hill right there in front of me, then you look at that. It kind of feels like the dust a little bit, but I don't feel as though the dust is actually part of Borderlands 1. Yeah, I'm going the right way. Well, let's hop out of here. Change that FOV again because it's really annoying. I've gotten to the point, man, where I just can't play first person games on the PC without changing the FOV. It's just, it isn't cool. I can't do it. Like, I started playing some World of War Zombies. Oh, I remember this freaking area. Oh, no. But I was playing World of War Zombies yesterday. I recorded a little bit of it for yesterday's Dear Nero on Nero Cinema. And yeah, like, I decided to change around the FOV on that as well, which I didn't do it beforehand. I'm like, I can't play without it now. All right, there's gonna be a lot of spider ants, a lot of things here. Oh god, give him in the butt! I got him in the butt. <laughs> and give him in the butt. Come on, hold on. Where's your butt? There's your butt. No, no, I'm trying to hit you in the butt. Oh, I should probably aim. Hold on, I gotta reload. Time out, no fair. Time out, no fair. <gasps> I'm wondering if I, yeah, if I'm just gonna pull out the big, I'm gonna pull out the big boy. I feel like John Marston running around with this thing, man. That would be another fun game to perhaps try to let's play in the future. Maybe like the Red Dead Redemption. They need to come out with the Red Dead Redemption too, man. That game is just too fun. On work there. What is hitting me now? Eh? Oh, I thought you were gonna keep on walking forward, you jerk. 
Eh, eh, no more. What? Oh, I must have hit him in the head. But yeah, Red Dead Redemption was a really fun game. Like, one of my favorite games of all time, to be, you know, to be perfectly honest. Like, I would definitely love to see that make a return. But yes, we're heading out towards Tannis right now. And notice we have a bunch of Iridian stuff all around here. Um, I guess we'll put you into there. Ah, oh, sick. That's going to make it so we can start getting the, we can get the guided missiles, which are going to add guided missiles to our turret, which would be pretty cool. Uh-oh. What about here? Oh. There. Jeez. This place is just full of things trying to... Uh-huh! I was about to say this place is full of things that are trying to kill you. And I was not kidding. Badass Spider Ant Zapper. So this thing is basically... Oh god, a badass shock spider ant, which is so freaking big in the front. Look how, like, look at his giant front legs and his giant head. It's making it so I really can't get a critical hit on the thing. And he's also smart enough to run away from my turret. Oh man, hold on. Sludgy shotgun. Let's do this. Bam! Alright, that didn't do much. But I feel the sludgy shotgun is probably our best chance of success here. I can't get I can't get him to turn around! Like I cannot shoot him from behind! How am I supposed to do this? Oh there you go. There you go, Haunt. Oh, there we go. I don't, I don't know what I did. I must have hit him. Maybe I hit him in the head or something like that, and I caused him to turn around. I don't know, man, but get, once I got that, we'll be able to get that critical hit. Where are the racks at? I was hit by a rack. Where'd he go? Uh, according to the map. Just, oh. Well, according to the map, this is the only thing left that's trying to kill me. So there he goes. <laughs> Man, I hope I do not run to another one of these. I remember our first time ever playing this game. Nick and I had so much freaking trouble in this area. Ooh. It is really cool looking here at night. But it's also full of racks. Gotta keep that in mind. Oh, God. Oh, God. Alright, well, I think they're all gonna get in one... Why aren't you all in one... Nope, nope, time out, time out, time out. No, oh, damn your reload speed. Oh, my God, are you kidding? <gasps> Well, on the right side, it's very easy to get this thing back up. But on the downside, it's really hard to reload it. Turret, go get him. Oh, that's a bloated rack. He's going to drop me some. Oh, they're all attacking my turret. That's great, actually. Oh, my God, he exploded. I forgot I'm using the explosive turret. How you can tell? Oh, I was going to say how you can tell is the side of my turret will have a different color uh, based upon what exactly is I'm using. I think there's a chest somewhere around here. Yeah, there it is. I'll jump on, I'll jump up to that on my way back. We got to go talk to Tannis. That's all you gotta say. After all that, I I just killed how many racks, and all I get is a greetings. I'm gonna take your stuff as a, just for that. Just just for you being a jerk, I'm taking all your things. All right. Incredible with your with your brain and all those hurdles and all the hurdles that implies you have correctly identified a piece of the Valky. I want to leave. I want you to leave this with me so that I may run some tests. I had one of these once. Now it's in the hands of Crazy Earl, which you guys may know as the Iridian vendor of Borderlands 2. Along with many of my unmentionables. Do you like bugs? <laughs> now we're going to go meet Crazy Earl. Have you met the bearded turtle yet? Crazy Earl, he hides from me in his scrapyard to the south. Anytime I want to see him, I have to blow a hole into his junk pile. Anyway, he has a piece of the Valky along with most of my underwear. The details of that transaction are unimportant. Just get that, in our, just get that artifact back. Crazy Earl. Yes, it. Wow, she doesn't she have any more voice things? That's definitely Patricia Tannis, though. We all know Patricia Tannish. Okay. Well, all she said was, like, hello, and, like, we'll speak again. Yeah. Yeah. MLG. Look at these MLG strafes. Strafes. Ooh. Ooh. That there's a pretty snipper riffle. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Not as pretty as the one I'm already rocking, though. So, it's gonna be pretty money in the banks, but that's gonna be. We're gonna make about seven grand from it, I think it said. Aw, oh, you would not allow me to walk on that. I'd probably just 
just made a bunch of racks angry. <laughs> All right. You want to play? We'll play. Bam. Where'd they go? Ah. Nope. Melee. I was going to melee him. That would have been so funny. Oh, you jerk. I hate racks. I'm just happy they made the hitboxes on them like giant while they're flying. So it's very easy to actually go ahead and hit them. Where am I even going here? Uh, so I need to go back all the way back down and head over that way. And I think it's, that's actually going to take me into a whole new area. Okay, rock on. Hopefully that big dude doesn't spawn back here. That would be the last thing I want to see is that big spider ant. Actually, his body's still there. Look at the size of this freaking thing. Good criminy. Thing was huge. Wasn't messing around. You know what? You know what? Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for spider ant workers. Ain't nobody, ain't nobody. And I got my fancy revolver. And my car is still down here waiting on me. It's one, two, three, and I'm outie. Come on, get, get this thing start. They're coming for me. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I was hoping I'd be able to miss that. Uh, well, there's a road up this way. No, I'm going to hit the damn thing again. I'm very bad at driving while the boost is going on. Alright, where am I going? I'm not even entirely sure. Where does this lead to? The doll headland. Really? You can, you can get to the commons from the headland? Well, I didn't know that. All I know is I'm heading this way. I think. Let's take, let's take a quick look. Yeah, I'm still going this way. The music's like so intense as if like something's chasing me or something bad's about to happen. And what in the world? There's a factory that way. The arena! I think this is a... I kind of want to go look at this. I'm pretty sure this is like another arena where you and your friends can go and fight each other. This is called the cesspool. Okay, I really want to check this out real quick. I just want to see what's in here. There's a big old arena sign. My FOB's not changed. There we go. I kind of want to check it out. Do I talk to this? Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going. I'm going. The racks are going to try attacking me. I'm going in. It's called the cesspool. Nero zero. What do you mean zero? What did I do? Oh, yeah. I, 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 well... Okay, where, where in the world does this lead to? Is that the arena down there? It's not let me do anything. Uh, yeah, I bet you it's like the arena in, uh, in Firestone that basically makes it so you have to have friends here and you guys can basically, you know, PvP each other. Oh, cool! We have a teleportation thingy, thingy, thingy here, thingy. And oh, and by the way, this is all from like DLC, like Jacob's Cove. That's the DLC. The Underdome is a DLC, I believe. It's like a survival thing, I think. T-Bone Junction, I think that's DLC. I think that's DLC. Rust Common West is not DLC. Basically, everything we've seen here that we haven't been to yet is probably DLC. Firestone Coliseum, uh, we can teleport to that. Yeah. You guys know how it works. Wait a minute. While we're here. Uh, I can reset all my skills if I want to. But I don't really feel like messing with them. We'll mess with them uh, once we start getting closer to the end of the game. Uh, which I think we're, we can't be too far away. Because I'm already at, what, level 23 now? You, you think the game ends roughly around level 30. So I think we're going to have a bunch of stuff to do here. But I don't think it's going to last for much longer. And you would make it so my car despawns. Okay, there's a car. Apparently... Apparently this way I can get I can get another car, which will make it so I don't have to get, like freaking walk the whole way over the crazy earls. That would be great. I would enjoy not walking all the way to crazy earls. Oh god, I'm just gonna run. Uh, New Haven bounty board, eh? More missions. Last thing I need right now, Clappy, is more missions. I have enough missions. I'm already over leveling as it is. Oh, this is all the way back here to where we started, huh? We should start, like, a claptrap counter and just count the amount of times every episode here reminds us that we have side quests at places we don't want to go back to. <laughs> oh, man. Freaking claptrap. It's absurd. Now, is this the way to Crazy Earls? It is. Can I get my car through here? On. You gotta believe. There we go. Holy crap. I'm glad I brought my car through here. Did I not hit F? I did. Just go away, brick. 
Crazy Earl. All right, Crazy Earl is up here to the right, but if my memory serves me correctly, there's going to be a lot of nerds that like to duck behind stuff. Wow, the, my either my accuracy or this rifle's accuracy. Okay, yeah, it's definitely the rifle's accuracy. Why do rifles have to be so inaccurate? Wait a minute. I have this now. Uh-huh. Where are you going to... How are you alive after that? He was already really hurt. And I pop him with a buffalo rifle. Oh, God. I have a turret. <laughs> I didn't see any nades being thrown at me. What was this? And boom. I don't, I'm not, I don't like when we have to face bandits like this. They're all, like, standing at a range. And then it's like, use your accuracy. And it's like, I'm not that accurate with a keyboard and mouse. Especially in Borderlands, where the guns just miss for whatever reason. There we go. On. Oh, I missed that guy. I could barely even see that guy. He's so far away. I want to grab this health up here. That would be helpful. Is my FOV not changed? No, it isn't. There we go. Oh, that's probably why I suck at aiming. FOV. Although, ADSing, I think your FOV is the same. But whatever. I'm going to make whatever excuse I can. Is that a pink car up there? That is most certainly a pink car. I hear a bruiser. He's over here to my right. Oh, a badass one, huh? Oh, God. Have a nade, jeez. That's just a regular bruiser. He's about to mess me up. I am at 10 health, if you guys didn't notice. Want to get? Oh! I just wanted to get my shield back up. Come on, Crackle hits with this pistol. Crackle hits with this pistol. Oh man, that, this pistol is not fair. If you have, if like you're down like that and you have the ability to aim for the head, oh man, um, that's a cool looking rifle. Actually, is that better than the one I'm rocking? It might be. Uh, it's actually the same in terms of damage. Wow, yeah, they aren't. This rifle isn't accurate. It's got sixty something percent accuracy. Maybe I should get something that isn't a flat off rifle. Because when it says it's low on accuracy, it's not like Call of Duty where, you know, it's still going to hit. It, it legitimately will just miss. Like, it, the bullets will just go random places. So, I need that health thing. Come back here. Eh, not the crappy SMG. I want this. There. Is there a chest around here? I feel as though I'm missing a chest. Eh, can I get up here? Whatever. I know there's, like, some stuff I can loot here, but we're heading to Crazy Earls. We've got stuff to do at the Earl Man's. Crazy Earl Scrapyard. Yeah, there we go. Crazy Earl. Dun, dun, dun. Ooh. Looty, ah, oh, come on. Looty, loot, loot, loot. Where's my boy? Aw, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Didn't see that one coming, did ya? More skags. More skags. Oh, I see this nerd. Oh, he opened his mouth for me even. What a... You dumb skag. Oh, Elder. As long as there's no alphas, I'll be fine. As long as there is no alphas. Piss off. I don't want to piss off. Oh, wait. Uh-huh. And... Ha ah! <laughs> you have to blow in there every time. Because he always, like, rebuilds up this, like, thingy. Remember? Patricia Tannis said that. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the legend of Crazy Earl. Piss off. Yep. Uh-huh. And that is the very scary face of Crazy Earl with his hit Oh, I accidentally shot with his Hitler mustache. Mm-hmm. What you want? <laughs> what you want? All right. Oh, so now that Tannis bitch wants that alien hunk of junk, eh? And you're her little helper. Bye. I ain't talking to you about Jack Monkey Squat. I like it. <laughs> and you're her little helper. Bah, they, and they call me crazy. What have you done for me besides blow a hole in my back fence? Tell me that. Oh, he's got a quest called Get Off My Lawn. Ooh, Crazy Earl's got more jobs. Yes, Claptrap. Thank you for always letting me know. This is going to get off my lawn. You want a favor from me? Well, pick my nose and I'll pick yours. I think the expression scratch my back, but whatever. As the saying goes, I got trespassers crawling all over my property here. And they got their eye on my treasure. 
uh, you get out there and start exterminating interlopers, and then we'll see uh, about where it is you wanted. All right. So we're going to go kill some bandits that are on his property. And this one is... Wait, no, that's one where we're at. This one's today's lesson is high explosives. Uh, these bandazzles stole my sea charges. The charges must be around the camp somewhere. You're going to teach them a lesson. They want my sea charges? Fine, we'll shove them up their asses and set them off. You steal Crazy Earl stuff, you get blasted to hell. Crazy Earl, you are... Just crazy. Don't you hurry back. Oh, fine. Don't hurry back. I thought you wanted to get your stuff done quickly. But apparently not. So where am I heading, huh? Uh, apparently to the end of that. For the sea charges. And the other one's just to kill bandits. So, Oh, God. The other one's just to kill bandits. So I feel as though we're probably going to be able to kill a bunch of them while we're over there working on the sea charges, right? It makes sense. I love this pistol. Although I can feel it starting to get weaker. Uh, Where would it be? Yeah, it's designed for level 14. But it is an epic. So it's like, you know, it's really good. Really good. Really we good. Is this the right way? It is the right way. Let's see if we can get this done here. Let's see how fast we can get these C charges. We gotta get them, we gotta place them, we gotta kaboom. That's how I read it. That old crazy old scrapyard. Oh, ooh. Mm -hmm. I was wondering how long it would take him to notice me. <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. Oh, I missed, I missed. Time out, time out. No fair. I hear a little fella. Hey, hey, no, 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 don't hit me with your damn axe. <laughs> There's also a random chest here, which has a white and a white. So, oh, am I out? I need to sell stuff. What if there was a vending machine in old Crazy Earl's property? Good God, the amount of... I ain't, I ain't trusting that. No. I have a feeling if I were to try and walk past that, somebody's going to jump out and go, boo, and I'm going to get blown up. Uh -huh. I knew that there would be somebody. I knew that there would be people who would come out of here. They don't just put all these barrels here for no reason. Goodness gracious. Am I good? Oh, nope. Oh, he got that barrel behind me. Ah, uh, looks like a bunch of crap to me. Yeah, bunch of crap. Alright. Wait a minute, I remember this area. I remember it faintly. If I remember, it's actually hard here. At least I, at least my first time ever playing this game, I had a lot of trouble here. So well, let's see. And God, what's with all the crap? <laughs> I would like less crap, please. Is there a less crap button I need to press? Well, I heard some of them spawn up that way. Oh, hi, buddy. God, the one hit. Oh, oh god. Oh god. Oh god. They always came out of nowhere and I couldn't tell where they were coming from. I heard their voices. Are we all quite done? I almost died there. Which way should I head? Oh, I should go around. Okay. Wow, that crane looks really cool up there. I've never actually seen a crane in Borderlands, huh? I don't have time for skanks right now. We have Crazy Earl's treasure to protect and save and get. Because for whatever reason, Crazy Earl has part, of the <laughs> has part of the vault key. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The guy that sells you the like the Iridian vendor in Borderlands 2 that like gives you backpack upgrades. In Borderlands 1, he had part of the vault key. <laughs> yep. Yep, 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 yep. So you can say he's a pretty influential character in the franchise. Oh, they didn't kill anybody. I was hoping that barrel would get someone at least. That's a bruiser. I have a turret. Who are- oh, they're both up there. There's two psychos up there standing there throwing stuff at me. I think that's all. I'm not hearing anybody else. See, sound horroring is so nice in video games. You can hear where the enemy's at, you can hear where they're shooting from, where their voices are yelling from. It's nice. It's some good stuff. Is it stuff I'm looking for? Oh, yep, stuff I'm looking for is apparently in a building, which is probably that barn. Actually, I see the things we're actually after. 
This music is very loud right now. I'm not sure why. Is it because I'm about to get massacred? Let's see if anybody's home. Yep, somebody was home. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Pardon me. Oh, look at you! How'd you survive my nades? Well, there's still more, so I'm not gonna grab our stuff until they're dead. There. Well, that was easy enough to clear out that building. <laughs> I thought it'd be like semi hard. No, it really wasn't. We did get a chest though, too. And crappy fire SMG. Actually, that might not be the worst fire SMG in the world, to be honest. It could be, actually be kind of good. It's got a better fire rate than this rifle, which fires like crazy, but it's also more accurate. Does a lot less damage. Also does fire damage, though. Eh, it's probably crap. Alright, handle with care. This is a C-charge. So where do I need to place the C-charge? Oh. I think, I think it's on top of this platform that's over here. I noticed it while I was walking in, when I looked to my right, there's a walkway up to that platform where they were at when we first came in. Oh god, badass psycho, badass psycho! Alright. Alright. Where are the other bandits? Didn't I kill you all? Oh, they're still coming out of that damn building. Go away! You can't handle my super awesome and accurate SMG, but I do want all your money. You guys dropped a lot of money, I gotta say. It's in my nature, I need to grab all your money. There we go, thank you for all your money. Now, let's run away. So I think we place this on top of this. Because remember when we first walked in, there was those bandits on top of like a really tall thing? I think that's what we're heading up right now. Who shoot? Good God, oh God. I'm going to start taking a lot of damage. Um, what is this guy doing? What are you doing? <laughs> I saw a shotgun be re being reloaded next to me. I also hear a bruiser. He doesn't sound like he's wanting to make any friends. Is he up there? Are they, are they all up there looking at me? Oh, he's down here. I'm an idiot. Derp. <laughs> No, you're not supposed to strafe. You're supposed to stand still. Stand still. Oh, that was a critical sick. Let's see if anybody's home. Oh, wait. They're down here again. There. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. No, you don't want to be there. Aw. That could have been that could have been witty. Like something out of a cheesy action movie. But nope, he had to live. I go up there, he's like, you don't want to be here, and he's standing next to a bunch of barrels, like, nope, you don't want to be there. And shoot the barrels and blow them up, but he didn't die from the barrels. What kind of crap is that? Where am I even supposed to place this thing, man? Ah, just right down the thing and make a left, okay. Ah, up there. Where the bruiser is. I got this. Ooh, we got, well, I thought I was going to fall through right there. Knowing me in real life, I probably would fall through right there. Just saying. Alright, so first and foremost, we blow up the barrels. Because chances are, those barrels are going to screw me over more than it's going to screw them over. Uh -huh. And get that down. And bam. Bam. How smart, how stupid is that guy? He just jumped off the dang cliff. Oh god, speaking of stupid, I'm going down yelling timber. Alright. Luckily, this pistol is like the Unkempt Herald. Like, uh, crouch. I can't remember the crouch button. Oh, I'm still going to take too much damage. Who is hitting me now from the side? Oh, it's this nerd up here. On. Yeah! Run away up to here. Anywhere that's like not having me out in the open would be great. Uh, I missed both of those? Come here, you. There. Nerd! <gasps> Ooh! How do I open this up? I hear one more bandit. It's probably the idiot that fell off. <laughs> well, apparently I placed these here somewhere. 
Uh. Ah, right there makes sense. Is that gonna open up my gate? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, the treasure. Oh, the treasure. Treasure, treasure, treasure. <gasps> oh. Ooh. It's like the thing I already have, except for stronger. And a bigger magazine. And a better buy rate. And slightly less accuracy. Oh, that's sick. All right, what's over here? Always room for more loot. E, always room for more loot. Uh, that's worth like five hundred dollars. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. And we're grabbing this purple. I'm actually gonna hold F so we equip it right away. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm like the fastest shot in the list. What was going on here with that? That is a cool looking pistol, man. Really powerful. Shoots ridiculously quickly. And it's got a relatively big magazine. It's kind of nuts. Uh, what's the current quest I'm rocking on here? Uh, three zero. Oh, we already did the get off my lunk. We killed 25 bands and three spider ants. All right, so we're both these are just going right back to Gray Zero. Here I come, Mr. Crazy. Oh, what, what, uh, eh. Let's try out our new pistol on this unsuspecting nerd. Huh, I feel like the other one, with the, maybe it's because of the explosive damage, but I feel like the other one would have killed him in two or one hits right there instead of three. Huh. Oh. Huh. Oh, since I got rid of myself, I have time to grab uh, those green weapons. Because those sell for a lot more, of course, than the white weapons. Where's my freaking legendaries, man? I want, like, a random legendary drop. That was always the coolest thing. Like, when you're playing Borderlands 2 with your friends. Like, I did a bunch of that. Um, you know, you come across that random legendary. And what we actually used to do is we would, like, preset, like, who gets what legendaries. Like, for example... Um, if somebody was playing the Siren, they would get they would get legendary SMGs. Um, so I, I was playing as Craig. No, I was playing as Axton when we first started playing. No, actually, I played so many characters. Uh, when I, like when I, if if, you, if someone had, if Zero was in the group, he would get the sniper rifle. If you were Axton, you would get the assault rifle. If you were Craig, you would get a shotgun. If you were Maya, you would get an SMG. Um, you know, that kind of idea. We set it up that way. I think if you were uh, the gun zerker, you would get a pistol because they were very good with different kinds of pistol builds. I, I feel like I passed at the house already. I didn't. But yeah, we haven't had that trouble of like sifting through legendaries because one, I'm playing by myself, but two, there just isn't any legendaries to sift through. <laughs> Let's talk to old Crazy Earl. Ah, I taught those bandits a lesson for sure. Looks like you got yourself a little. Got a little singed yourself. Oh, that's right. I had those charges on timers set for remote detonation. I could, I could have done it from here with the push of a button, but I totally forgot. That's friggin' hilarious. That's not hilarious. But that's a really good transfusion grenade, so I'm kind of happy we got that. And this is Get Off My Lawn. What <laughs> What the hell do you want? You better not be taking any of my stuff. You killed all the trespassers? I have no idea what you're talking about. I don't see any trespassers. Crazy Earl's a little, 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 little bit crazy on the crazy end here. This is called Hair of the Dog. So, this is going to be collecting bottles of booze from the bandits at Treacher's Landing. One more thing, I'm all out of booze. You want to get my alien what's it? <laughs> he calls it a what's it. You're going to get you're going to pick up a new supply from the bandits out of Treacher's Landing. They brew a mean moonshine out there. Don't know what's in it, but who cares? Those bandits won't part with it willingly, of course. That's where you're go that's why you're going and not me. So apparently we're heading out to some place called Treacher's Landing, which I don't remember anything about that at all. And we're going to apparently find him some booze and grab his booze. But we also got a new skill. So now, ladies and gentlemen, we can start making it. So our we now shoot a guided missile every eight seconds. Oh, and the more we upgrade this, the more uh, the less time between missiles comes out. That'll be pretty cool. That'll be pretty cool. But yeah, I guess we better start making our way towards good old Treacher's Landing.